Hi there everyone, this is Chef MKT, and welcome back to Let's Play Riviera, the Promised Land. Where's the Bacilli Mouse Cursor? <gasps> there you are! Oh my goodness, it's been like a month since my last video, and I do apologize for taking so long. But don't worry, it will be worth the wait, I guarantee it. Alright, so where we last left off, um, we defeated Isha, the first accursed. I've got his memories back, and Anheya is now at full power. So I'm is a licensed badass. Hell yeah. Ooh. I'm still amazed that you're an angel. So when we first came here, it was nighttime, and the entire area was bathed in like a shade of blue. However, since it's daytime now, we can see that the grass here is actually green. Just like in the real world. But it looks so lush. Ooh, so pretty. I just love the art of this game. Lena too. That's why you could take on demons. Yes, Serene. Thank you for pointing out the obvious. What do you plan to do, Ayn? I plan on keeping my promise to Ursula. Oh, I'm stepping it up as a man. Just that tone of his voice, just filled with confidence. I plan on keeping my promise to Ursula. Hell yeah. Character development, people. Don't forget it. Alright, Fia, let's head back to Elendia with your magical powers of teleportation. Alright, so since we're heading back to Elendia, obviously this is going to be another one of those videos where I'm just going to talk with the villagers and nothing of importance is going to happen. But please do stick around because it's going to be fun. The arcs have been annihilated. Serene, the lone survivor, joined the party. Ursula, the mysterious woman, reappeared before them. Now, Riviera is threatened by both the accursed and the demon who hunts sprites. The wheels of fate have begun to turn ever so slowly. And we are back in Alendia. I just do actually like those chapter summaries when you finish the chapter, because it's like a story book. I kinda like that. But that's just my personal opinion. Lena must get going. I will report this to Grandfather. And I'll be sure to talk with him too. We'll be waiting. Later, girls. And that just leaves me and Serene. I'm gonna look around Alendia. Great idea. I think I shall join you. Alrighty then, so before we actually talk with all of the villagers again, immediate, immediately go back to the teleport circle. Why? Because of that. Oh, hi there, Mr. Bat. How you doing today? A bat? Don't mind me, I'm just going to catch you and make you my pet. Alrighty then. Down left X, up left, up right. Easy peasy. Oh mate, just caught this lovely shiller of a bat. Alright, I got it. Ain't she a beaut? Oh, so lovely. Bat Junior! Hooray! Alright, so let's take a quick little peek at what this thing does. Okay, so it is a physical base attack. And it hits three times. In the case of Serene, it's four times. <laughs> Gotta use my little pointer here. Thank you for chilling mouse cursor for helping out. Okay, so two effects here. One is HP Absorb. It does what it says on the tin. The damage you deal to the enemy, some of it gets absorbed back to you as health. I think it's a 1 to 4 basis or a 1 to 2 basis. I can't quite remember. But the most important one is this, Revolt. Now, this is bad because every time you use the bat, it gives it a chance to actually attack your character instead of the enemy. So obviously that's a bad, bad thing. So you're basically flipping a coin in that sense. However, for some reason, Serene has a great rapport with the bat species. I can't quite imagine why. Hmm. Anywho, uh, not only does she get an extra hit, but she has HP Absorb Plus. So, what does that do? Well, I do believe that it heals HP on a one-to-one -one basis, but here's the kicker. It doesn't only restore HP to the user that used the bat, it also restores all of the HP to the characters in the party. So that, my friends, is what I call OP. 
Okay, so let's talk to Ritzy Ritz. How you doing? I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> what is up with that accent? No, 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 no. If I recall correctly, Ritz did not have his accent when I first met him. Did you go somewhere? What is up with that? That is so weird. The outside world is foreign to me. I'm too busy digging away here. Okay, I'm going to bring up a clip from when we first met Ritz and then compare it to what you just heard now. The name's Ritz. Sup, bro? Is there something you want with me? No, not really. My job? My job is to dig up crystals. Okay. Call me crazy, but I'm pretty certain that Ritz did not have that ridiculous accent when we first met him. How weird. Oh well. Alright, how you doing, Claude? Hmm. Words inscribed in Lacrima's dungeon. Quite interesting. What was written? Well, let's see. From heaven, fill with light. With... like... correct. I think that's how it went. Hmm, the most important parts are missing. I couldn't read it, so I don't remember at all. Can you try and remember what the letters looked like? Hmm, what did they look like? Now it's been over a month since we actually uh, last saw what those uh, letters were, but it's right down to our armex. <laughs> Wings from heaven, fill thyself with light, with words like fire. Correct me. Hmm. I believe I've seen these letters somewhere. Yeah, as you can see, I've played this game so many times. Things like that, I just automatically know. It's kind of scary now that I think about it. I got it. So that's what it is. Huh? Eureka! Thanks to you, I can finally prove my research. Cool. Here, the least I can do is give you this. Oh, why, well, thank you, good sir. It is an item manual. Alright, so what the item manual does, it, it, it unlocks the item database in the extra content section of the game. There we go. Lovely. Alright, so if we talk to Claude again, uh, he will actually give you, a, give you a mushroom book, and that will be useful in the next chapter. However, for comedic purposes, for this playthrough, I'm actually going to not pick up the Mushroom Book. Now, if you pick up the Mushroom Book, it gives you the opportunity to unlock another section of the extra contents. So, yeah, that's for your information. Let's talk to Sawala. How are you doing? I have so many books I still need to read. I'd like to go outside once in a while, at least. Now, remember, folks, it's important to get some sunlight every day because you need your daily dose of vitamin D. That's a rare item. I did an experiment with one a while back. I mixed it with all the staffs I had, and ended up with an amazing staff by accident. Would you like me to try and make that staff again? What should I say? Now, if you recall when I first picked up the Moon Lily, I called it an investment. Now, this is why it's called an investment. Okay. Please, give me the Lily. Source of life, absorbed through the course of time, bathed in moonlight, form into one staff. I command thee. Huh? Did I fail? Oh, Sawala. Ah, I forgot. I need a golden egg. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great. Um. Please don't look at me like that. But I can't help it. I gave you a staff and you broke them. Breaks a lot. Everyone messes up at one time or another. I'm really sorry. Oh, okay. I forgive you. If you bring me a golden egg soon, I can continue with the spell. Alright, so if you take a look in your inventory, you're actually missing your rugs now. So, please keep that in mind when you give the uh, rods to Solala, because you do lose those items temporarily. Fantastic. Alright, so let's talk to you. Uh, down. I still need one more. 
But how am I going to get bat wings? Bat wings, you say? Hmm. Jeez, she always gives me the most impossible tasks. Hey, are those bat wings? Oh, these things? Maybe. Where'd you get them? Huh? Love from a castle? I see. That means I can't just go and get them. Does she want them? Now, the jerk of me says I don't want to give it to her. However, the bonus that she gives you is really good, so I'm just going to give her the bat wings. Uh, are you sure? Oh, thank you. I should be the one looking for them. Here's a token of my appreciation. <laughs> Cool, plus 20 Thank HP. You. Excellent. Alright, so we are now done with the Magic Guild, I think. Oh no, wait, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Want to get a little bit more dialogue out of these two. Oh wait, uh, the fairy's gone. Oh well, let's talk to you. I'm sorry, do you have a golden egg? Nope, not yet. Okay, let's leave. <laughs> Alrighty then, moving on with the world. Down we go. And out of this dusty old cave. And now we are out in the beautiful sunlight. Oh, how I missed you. Where should I go? Um, that's a good question. Let's go to Lena and Fia's place. Why not? Hi. Inside the house we go. Alright, so first things first. After every chapter, when you get back to Alendia, there's the table. Table. There's some bread on the table. And after every chapter, apparently Fia makes some more bread. It looks soft and fluffy. Take the bread. Sweet. Free bread. Who doesn't love free bread? I love free bread. bread. Alright, let's head upstairs. Howdy ho. How you doing? Welcome back. What are you going to do about dinner? Oh, but I haven't prepared it yet. Oh, done. I guess I'll just have to snack on these bread. Cleaning Fia and Lena's rooms takes so much time. Fia's room is full of cookbooks. And books are heavy. Indeed they are. Also, do you know how many stuffed animals Lena has? <laughs> There's like an avalanche every day. Jeez, I'm beat. Oh, did I just complain? I did it, right? It's okay, I won't say a word. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why I like this setup, where you just have one village or town that you constantly go back to, because you learn a little bit more about the inhabitants of the town as you progress through the game, and not only that, you get snippets like that about the characters that, uh, that are in your party as well, which is really, really nice. I like that. Alright, let's go quickly save and continue on with our conquest of talking to everyone in town. And we are back for more extreme talky talk town action. Hell yeah. Alright, so we are done with Fia and Lena's place. We stole the bread because it was free, but we didn't actually steal it because we totally forgot to ask. Where should I go? That did not make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Just disregard everything I just said because I'm clearly, clearly off the wall today. Anywho, let's go have a little chit chat with the local residents here. Hi there, Melaine. Where's Kyle? I apparently he's missing. Okay. I heard about your trip with Fia and Lena. You've earned my respect. Hell yeah, respect. I feel bad about what happened to Rosalina. I hope Alendia doesn't follow suit. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Because I'm here. I'm a dependable guy. Alright, let's head down, talk to the little kitties here. How you doing? Hi there. You went on an adventure? Tell me about it. Sure. I'm gonna go adventuring one day. Sure you will, kid. Sure you will. Everyone's talking about you, mister. Oh, are they? Ho oh, ho ho. Excellent. I'm the talk of the town, baby. Hmm, no. 
Alright, let's head on back. Maybe Kyle's back inside his house now. I don't know. Let's check it out. Nope, he's apparently not here. Okay. <laughs> From what I recall, he doesn't say anything that interesting. Where should I go? So we're not missing out on that much. Alright. So let's head on to the Hobbit Smithy, because if you head to the Eldest House, that will trigger the event to go to the next chapter. And clearly we don't want to do that just yet. Hi there, Chappy. How's it hanging? I'm a cheerful blacksmith, as always. Hell yeah, you are. Hey, that thing you got doesn't look half bad. That's Ogurdium, huh? Indeed. If you give me all your sides... I can make you a more powerful one. <gasps> more powerful scythes, you say? What should I do? You had me at scythes. Do it. Hi ho! Ha! Ha! Ah, yeah. It's done. Got ourselves an ogre blade. All right, let's take a quick little peeky peek. Good. Yep, more powerful. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so you can pick up Ogre Blades in Chapter 3, however, depending on when you get it during Chapter 3, it, you know, <laughs> it's not consistent, let's leave it at that. So having it in my inventory now is very, very ideal for me. Where should I go? Oh, whoa, 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 stay here, stay here, almost I think forgot. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Almost forgot, I have to talk to Chappie again. Because I think I picked up the dagger in the beginning of chapter 2 as well. If you're in a hurry, then so am I. Apparently not. Oh, that's right. Okay, so if we recall back in the beginning of chapter 2 when Lena was digging the ground and she found a, a chipped dagger. Now, if you complimented on Lena uh, finding that dagger, you will actually put it in your inventory. And then if you give it to Chappie, he will forge it into something else. Now, because of the fact that I made Lena cry because she found a useless item, we did not keep that dagger. So, you know what? It's a trade-off. Hilarity for an item that we'll probably never use. I'm okay with my choice. Alright, so let's head on to the Undine Spring. The sand on this hill is all different colors. You don't say. Oh my god, I remember you, you had that annoying voice. I wanted to go with you! No, you didn't. Stay at home, kid. Alright, so here we are, at the Undine Spring. Hi there, Mute. How's it going? I have a moon drop. Yes, I do. And as I mentioned before, I do have the option to not give it to her. However, when I asked the people viewing this what their opinion was, they wanted me to give her the moon drop. So, I'm going to oblige and be the nice guy for a change. Now, keep in mind that she hasn't used her vocal cords in who knows how long. So, it may take a while for her vocal cords to warm up. Please don't forget to talk to her a second time. Present. Otherwise you won't get your present. Oh ho ho! An ice javelin. Beautiful. Let's take a quick little looky loo. Okay, so this is why I ditched the game bog in chapter 2. Because you pick up the ice javelin here. Alright, so if we take a quick look here, if you are a magic based uh, spear user, it is now an ice element when you attack with it. Coolio. However, if you're physical based, it's still a non-elemental attack. What a shame. Alrighty then, how you doing? I misunderstood you. I still don't care though. Sure you don't. Okay, so here's the dealio with this fairy here. It seems like Luli and Mute are like buddy buddies or something. And if you don't give Mute the moon drop or you just plain didn't pick it up in chapter 2, Throughout the game, she will just continually hate you. Like, really hate you. <laughs> but if you give her the moon drop, she will eventually warm up to you as you progress through the game. But, you know, I don't really care about her. 
Where should I go? All right, let's head on to the Grove of Repose and check out the inhabitants there. Ow! Well, first of all, pick up the apple cot that's alive on the ground. There's an apple cot on the ground. Yes, there is. Pick it up. I'll take that. Thank you, good sir. Good. But my inventory is full. Aww. That's okay. Brandy bread bread. Apple cot, 45% HP. 45% HP, bread does 50%, so it's slightly worse, but it's not that significant. However, Lena can learn an overskill from using fruit, apparently. She must really like apple cots. Yeah. So, in this case, I'm just going to drop the apple cot for now, because after each chapter, when you get back to Olympia, there will be another apple cot. I heard you went to Rosalina Island. Lucky. So, you remember my name? What was it? So, yeah, very important that you talk to all of the town inhabitants every time you come back to Alendia, because things like this may happen. Now, obviously, her name is not Regina or Beth, it's Rebecca. You remembered my name! Here, you can have this. Wow. <laughs> How much self esteem would you have if you want to give presents to strangers if they remember your name? Ooh, what happened to you, Rebecca? It's okay. I'm here for you. Alright, so Harpy Talon is a very, very interesting item. Now, here's why. Both Serene and Lena have overskills with it. And not only that, it hits three times. I'll repeat that. Three times. Yeah. Talons are a very, very good weapon for Lena. Let me just tell you that. Oh, man. Olendi is a nice place, huh? What should I say? Oh, more choices. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so the top option is the neutral choice. The second option is the jerk choice. The third option is a, oh my god, he cares about me choice. So clearly, I'm going to pick option two. That's mean, Ein. Are you saying that it isn't? Of course it isn't a nice place here. What are you talking about? Thea and Lena would be heartbroken to hear that. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Oh, yes, I did. Ah, uh, oh, the fun of choices in games. <sighs> Alendia mustn't face the same fate as Rosalina. Okay, later. Don't want to be ya. Uh... Oh, yes, these two. You got back safely. You have good luck now. Thank you very much, Cat. Is Lady Luck with you? Huh? I wish. So you went to Rosalina Island? Pick up anything good there? If you pick up anything cool, tell me, okay? Okay. So... If you recall back when we found the uh, fountain where we watered the moon lilies, if you actually uh, immerse your torch in the water to get the Mosame Ash, you would actually give it to Raish here, and if you do give it to him, he will give you a support item called the Flag. And the Flag is a pretty darn good support item. It's actually probably one of the best support items in the game. However, you don't need it at this stage in the game, and you can pick up some later on anyway. So, quite frankly, it's probably more, more important, in my opinion, to keep the torch and to get the Ogre Blade. But that's just my opinion, man. Alright, so we are all done here. Let's get to the Elder's House. Lovely. Into the house we go. Are you ready? Hell yeah, I am. Don't need to ask me twice, Miss Fairy Lady. Elder. Master Ein has arrived. Oh, so I'm a master now. Hmm. I've got respect everywhere in this town. Things are looking up for Ein. Oh. Ein, I've been told everything from Fia and Lena. To think that you're an angel. This might be fate. <sighs> Why has an angel like you set foot on Riviera? You must have some purpose. Something you must do. Would you be so kind as to tell me... Tell me the truth. Uh, 
Elder. Please. Okay. Yeah, so basically I was here to destroy Riviera, but then because I found out that I actually didn't want to do it, um, you know, I, I didn't want to do it, so I'm going to side with you guys. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to save your entire Was village. That so? You have met our protector Ursula, have you not? I have. And she asked me to go to Nelde and seal the accursed. I see. I have also heard that the Nelde ruins have become more and more affluent with demons. As elder of this town, I ask of you, please, prevent the return of the demons. I understand. That was my original intent. I shall accompany you. No, you can't, Fia. I cannot put your life at risk. Are you saying that I am of no use? That's precisely what he's trying to say. Of course not. Liar. Lena will go too, so you don't have to worry. Lena. <laughs> it's okay, right, I? Elder? Hmm. Thanks to Fia and Lena, we were able to discover what's haunting Riviera. This may be fate after all. Fia? Lena? You will be of great use to Ayn on his quest. Go forth, and travel with him. All right! Grandfather! Now, now. Not here. Ayn, please take care of these two. I will. There are so many inappropriate things I could have said there, but I decided to not. Oh, hi there, Serene. What's up? Looks like a done deal, eh? You were listening, weren't you? Was I? All right, let's go. To Nelde. Forest? Oh! Cool. Pretty. Chapter 3. The Accursed. The Shadow of the Accursed. Realizing the grave danger, Ein and company leave Alendia and head for the ancient ruins of Nelde. It is rumored that Nelde, an aged place, is still riddled with magic traps. Ein, accompanied by Fia, Lena, and Serene, sets foot in Wee's forest in search of the entrance to the ruins. Within the ruins, he hopes to find the source of their trouble. The accursed. All right, see so right now, officially in chapter three. All right, so this is a good place to stop. Tune in next time when we actually travel through the forest. Ooh, that sounds nice. Okay, I'll see you guys next time, whenever that may be.